dick circle. Yeah. No, I used to play baseball. That was a while ago. <laughs> KJ, you want to start us out by talking about what you guys are doing on Sunday? Yeah, um, so we're, we're hosting an event for my father. Um, he's going through some uh, kidney issues right now. Um, so we're really just raising some money for him. Um, really, it's going to be for you know his medical bills and whatnot, going through this process. It's uh, a real excruciating one for him as far as like the process itself. But as far as Pops, you know, he's in, in great health. I mean, honestly, just a blessing about it. He, and he'll be there, too, to shine a light on the situation and really just kind of profess as far as, like, just getting that yearly checkup. That's kind of where he caught it. Um, not really in any pain, still exercising, moving around. He'll, he'll be down here Saturday, watch practice. So as far as he, he's going, he's doing well. Um, couldn't complain any bit. But um, definitely just going to try and help him out. I'm blessed to be at a university like this. and you know, able to have a platform where we can help them. Um, and really all the people around here have been great about it. So excited, also excited to see the fans. I ain't seen them in a while. Um, so it'll be fun to interact with some some good people. What's the mentality of this team coming off of last year? Maybe not quite the standard that you had set previously about trying to maybe reestablish that as, as one of the leaders of this team. Is that, is that one of the messages? Yeah, really, it's right now it's just clean slate, right? Starting off, starting over, starting fresh. Um, you know, we want to create our own identity. Uh, we have a lot of talent on this team coming back. Um, also a lot of depth that we have to build um, and, and we know that personally you know for us not outside looking in but how we felt we didn't feel like we played up to our standard last year regardless of who was injured who was there and it didn't really matter to us we knew we could have played better um, and so that's definitely in the, in the back of our minds been in the forefront it's all about just developing this team it's a whole new journey for us um, and it starts in, in the spring and that's what we kind of felt today was a great a great first step for us do you feel like this defense is going to be led from the front uh, it seems I, like it is. hundred percent. I definitely do. Uh, I'd be a fool not to say that. We have a lot of uh, leadership and a lot of um, experience up front, you know, with especially myself and Xavier, Miles, Maskell, and some, you know, TD, them boys in the middle. A lot of experience, a lot of playing experience. Uh, so we're definitely going to do our part. But at the same time, uh, that's no knock on the back seven. They're, they're easy to lead, um, have leaders in, in their own right, and uh, have, have a lot of experience as well. So, like I said, it's, uh, I think, the challenge in, uh, in the spring going to be just building depth, you know, making sure that, you know, like a season last season, we can't control who gets hurt. Um, we can't control who has COVID or anything like that, you know, but someone's got to go in and play and play at a high level. And now after being faced with that challenge, you know, we have to be able to respond. So there's definitely a bigger sense of urgency um, to build that depth. And, you know, I think we're going to do a great job of it this spring. When did XT tell you he was going to come back? Uh, he kept that on, on the DL. Uh, <laughs> three, three, you know, which he should, you know, that was a decision for him and his family. Um, but I found out when y'all found out, um, you know, it's being, being a friend, you know, definitely had some conversations about it, um, you know, throughout. But, you know, personally, I was making my own decision, too. So the last thing I wanted to do was get in his business or, or you know, try and influence it either way. Um, and that's kind of really why we, you know, stayed away from each other as far as, you know, communicating it too much because, you know, we're all going through our own paths. But happy he's back, you know, bless he's back. Um, you know, Coach Sweeney made a great point in that 2014 D-line, Sean Williams, uh, Grady, um, Los and, and DJ all in the league today, right? Um, only two can go out there, but you know, great players and they all still playing. And I think that's kind of the selflessness and the talent that we feel like we have in the defensive end room and we're going to attack it. You know, whoever's out there and whatever two on the sideline, we're going to cheer them on. So excited about that opportunity um, and, and definitely, like I said, glad he's back. What, did, what came with your process? What made you want to come back? Um, you know, for me, I felt like uh, a little bit had to do with just not getting the spring last year, um, right? So this is, I'm just blessed to be out here because coming off that injury, um, I didn't even get to practice last spring. Um, felt great today to get back out on that knee. Um, no brace, no restriction, nothing, just flying around. Um, so that was kind of part of it, just getting a whole full season. Um, and, and secondly, I just felt like I had more in the tank. I, um, you know, personally just felt like I tapped into it a lot towards the end of the season. I'm getting a little bit more playing time, a little bit more uh, comfort with, you know, the defense or whatnot. Um, and, you know, I felt like I set myself up for a great year this year. Um, and I'm in no rush, you know, in real life situations. Some of these guys have to make these decisions um, for the betterment of their family. And, and I've been blessed with uh, a great family with, you know, a great backing. It's not really necessarily anybody I'm rushing to take care of or anything like that. Um, and I have nothing but support from my family. So just get to take my time and really focus on my craft and, um, you know, try and maximize all my time here. Did you submit any paperwork for, to do a draft grade or any feedback from the league about? Uh, I personally didn't submit okay. any, no. Um, you know, we get feedback and whatnot. Um, it was pretty much the same as, as last year. And, you know, different 
things that you work on and, you know, different things um, that they said I got better at. But that wasn't, honestly, I really had not much to do with my decision. You know, it was more the respect of Coach Sweeney's opinion, uh, Coach William McCorby's opinion, a lot of people who um, have been there, done that, and have seen it done a lot of times, you know, really understand the process and how sometimes, you know, those um, – those opinions can kind of be messed up, you know what I'm saying, when you're looking at draft grades or whatnot, but they've seen a lot of players, and, you know, their opinions mean a lot to me, and, you know, I know that they have the best in mind for myself, so, you know, it was it was easy. It was easy, you know, towards the end of it to say I want to come back and, you know, play here. What did Dabo tell you just as going through that process? Yeah, um, you know, we had some, some in-house conversation, but he definitely he felt like um, part of it was my knee. He felt like, um, you know, I started to get healthy, started to be more explosive, and, you know, like I said, coming into this season, not have any restrictions. Um, he was excited for you know me to be able to build on my explosiveness, um, and he just felt like I could take another step, really as, holistically as a player, was being more physical, um, was making more plays, being more productive, and like I said, kind of what I showed at the end of the season last year, he felt like if I do that for an entire year, uh, it could be great things for me, and, and I agreed with him. Um, so like I said, ultimately it didn't make it you know too hard to come back. I guess, did you feel like you were kind of slow at the beginning of the year? I mean, how much did you feel like the not, ne- not necessarily good. slow. Uh, I felt like I wasn't as fast as I have been, right? And I think, um, you know, checking in with my mental health as far as, like, how this stuff works, it's kind of hard um, to really accept the fact that once you go through any type of injury, you're no longer the same person you were, right? And I think that's something that I was really having a battle with as far as, like, always comparing to what I was and who I was. Um, instead of really accepting, you know, where I was now and, you know, how I can build from that. So kind of once I got a grasp on that mindset, it was a much easier to build. And like I said, it was, um, you know, like it had nothing to do with the speed more than it had to do with just the comfort um, and the confidence, you know, with what I was doing, the movements. I mean, there's some things we do on the field you can't necessarily replicate, you know, whether it be in a agility drills or whatnot. And so today, honestly, was a great first day for my mental, um, just being able to, like I said, work on, on my legs and um, not have any restrictions going against, you know, our old line. Um, it, it felt really good to be back out there. You mentioned Woody McCorby. What kind of role has he had? What's your relationship been like with him since you talking about? That's the OG. Uh, that's, that's the man with the plan. He's the real head coach. Coach Sweeney's just like out there. <laughs> um, but Big Wood, he's actually the head coach for y'all that don't know. Um, but nah, he's just a, a great mentor. Um, he has a great influence over, obviously, Coach Sweeney, but the entire team. Like I said, he's he's been through it um, in the Hall of Fame. Like you don't get in the Hall of Fame for just doing nothing, uh, especially in the state of Alabama. And you know, being a great coach that he was, he's seen a lot of different things, a lot of great players, um, and seen a lot of different stories. And then, so, um, and my dad being a coach, he's highly respected in that regard as well for my father. So he's just we've just had a, a really great connection, um, you know, over the last five years. And um, his opinion uh, definitely uh, meant the world to me. It's going back to the event you're going to have on Sunday. Is this something you wouldn't have been able to do without name, image, and likeness? I think it's one of those I mean, good opportunities. To- yeah, um, it would have it would have definitely been tough to navigate. Um, a shout out to my teammates. You know, they're they're not making anything off of this. This is just out the kindness of their hearts. Um, you know, just trying to help me. And you know, it's really a testament to the type of guys that we bring here. Um, but yeah, it really had nothing to, to do, I don't think, with the payment as far as like who's getting paid what, um, all proceeds going to you know, my father's uh, foundation. But yeah, NIL definitely kind of opens up that thought process um, as far as you know how, if it would have worked or if we even could have done this um, with compliance or whatnot before all this came out. But you know, definitely just grateful that we even get the opportunity. I mean, obviously, you haven't worked directly with Nick Eason, but what have you seen or heard about him from you know the, the D tackles? He's the real deal. Uh, today was the first day, but I've been impressed with him ever since I met him. Uh, first off, great, genuine guy, down to earth, and you know, it, honestly, it's just it's kind of shaky, right? Like. Um, with my dad being a coach, I really understand or have a pretty good grasp of how uh, unstable this business be, can be in coaching. Um, and we've had a great, like, uncommon stability here. Um, so our world was kind of shaking with, you know, Coach V and some of those guys leaving. Um, but, I mean, we, we put a great mandate on it. And Coach Eason, I mean, he's he's top notch. Um, definitely one of the best defensive minds I've been around. And like I said, this is only the first day on the field. But just getting his knowledge from the NFL standpoint, uh, from different schools and also playing here. He has a love for for this university and love for his guys. And, and so it's very easy to you know, kind of bring him into the fold and, uh, you know, make him a part of us because, like I said, he's been outstanding since since he's gotten here. Do you all know any of the Auburn players that he used to coach or got any kind of feedback from anybody else? Uh, I, I don't personally. Um, I know some of the guys are connected, woven, you know, through the college world. Um, I don't. But, like I said, it, it, from what I've seen, they were blessed too, you know, to, to have to have a coach like him. 
and uh, like I said, just glad we have him. Uh, talking about West Goodwin, the new defensive coordinator, I think after the bowl game, you guys had a direct lift to him. I yeah. saw a video of that. Why yeah. do you guys like West so much? Big West, you know, it's all love from him. Um, he's just, it's easy for an older guy to love West because, you know, obviously Coach B being a great coach he was, but we also got to see West work in the background, right? He he was able to be the, you know, the the mind of the scheme, right? Coach B was a great mind as far as coaching and putting all the schemes together and Coach, or Coach West was right beside him. So we know what he's capable of. Um, we definitely respect everything he has to say. He has league experience as well. Um, he's not necessarily the most vocal guy when it comes to the comparison of Coach B, but it's not needed, especially when you have older guys who understand what to do um, and know what it takes. Um, then you don't need that. You just need someone who trusts you, who has the confidence in you, and can coach you and you know tell you how to uh, correct yourself. And that's what he's been able to do at a very high level. And so it's easy. He makes it fun for us. Um, he cares about us, loves us. Just ate at his house the other night, good barbecue, you know what I'm saying? So he's doing all the right things in the right ways, and he's going to be great for us. So is he a good barbecue? Is he good at barbecue? He's good at buying barbecue. He did, not, uh, <laughs> he did not cook nothing, but that's okay. A lot of players, you know what I'm saying? So I don't blame him, but it was a great spot. Um, yeah, he, he knows how to pick them. He knows how to pick them. <laughs> so many people talk about his, his cerebral and just net X's O's breaking out. Has there ever been a point you've been in a meeting room or something with him and just been like, Dude, since day one, that's, yeah. what, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, uh, it's, you just, when you're a defensive guy, you know, that's really kind of how, how I leave it. Um, when you're in the defensive meeting room, you know what West brings to the table um, as far as his knowledge. Um, it's, it's unmatched and, you just got to get to see it as far as, you know, him writing up on the board, schematically being able to explain everything, give a, a reason to everything. Um, it, it shows, you know, what what's going on up there. And still, every day, I, I mean, being here for five years, I feel like I have a great grasp of the defense. But whenever I want to learn something new, I always can, can go to him because he's going to know it. Does he ever just kind of blow you away with, like, you know, like, man, I didn't think about it the way he just thought about that and pointed it out to me? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of past the, the point of being blown away. Like I said, just I definitely was blown away when I first got here. You know, it was doesn't look like the big intimidating coach is like the, the typical, right? right. Um, but the knowledge is there. Knowledge is there, and he shows us, you know, day in, day out that he's going to put us in the right position to be successful. When it comes to the D-line as a well, whole, you obviously pretty much get everybody back. I think I saw you recalling you guys the Avengers. Yeah. How did you kind of, why that name? Yeah, who's, who's I like that. Avengers? That's a great question. Um, So we got a little crew uh, coming out. I ain't, I ain't going to throw it all out there yet but everybody just kept asking like we felt like we had a, a great excitement right for for the guys coming back um a lot of hoorah for what we could do this year um and obviously we had a, a great example in the power rangers but it's time for something new um so that's kind of what we came up with different different characters and whatnot um so everybody will get to show themselves in their own right you know through time but that's definitely what we what we looking like this year for sure you, you and xt though were baby power rangers so how can you go from the marvel side I mean, how does that nah work? we weren't we weren't in, we weren't in the power rangers we weren't in the power rangers they, we weren't the cool kids like they had their own little group you know what i'm saying me and x was the babies and you know we just had to we just had to marvel you know what i'm saying they they, they got the job done um but now nah, we just they showed us the ropes so now we know how how to fight, you know, fight off crime. We know how to do it the right way. Can you reveal which Avenger you are? I I am Captain America. That, that's mm. me. I, I get that out there. Um, and we, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Okay. Y'all going to just tell us who everything is at Halloween or something? Is that I don't know. We'll we have to discuss. That's what I'm saying. I can't put it on the <laughs> forefront for them boys. Uh, you know, they might want to reveal themselves. You know, when you come into, uh, you know, common people, you know, just walking around, you can't can't necessarily show you true identity. So I'll let them <laughs> reveal themselves in, through time. In due time. Yeah, in due time. Anybody else for KJ? All right. Thanks, Thanks, KJ. Thank you all so much. Thanks, KJ.